Hi. This is VK3 Refit Things, my lady. Now that graduation is over, I bought this beautiful basket from Home Depot or Lowe's, one of them, several months back. And um, so I'm going to put this on my door. It'll be something different than a wreath. So I am going to decorate this with um, deco mesh. I'm going to feed it through. I am going to use uh, this burgundy red. It's one of my colors. And I'm going to use this turquoise that I've already taken out of the pack. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it. Make sure your ends are laying down flat. So I'm gonna start in one of these holes and just start weaving through, keeping your ends down. Just go continue to thread through or weaving through your basket. Now see how that wanna tuck up on me like that? I wanna keep those sides laying down. So everything be nice and neat. And in the same order. So this hole here is pretty small, so I'm gonna bypass it and just go on to the next bigger hole. This is something I never tried before. I just had this idea. Trying to keep the, the ends even too. You want everything to come out even. And I think this is gonna be so pretty and different. And uh, when I finish with uh, my mesh, I am going to stuff this with flowers inside the same color. And I'm gonna make me a sign to go with my, my basket for my door, for my front door. So that's what I decided to do. So it may be more difficult as much as you put it in there. So if you don't pull it from here, your end, just take one of these where it's already weaved and it'll go through easier. So I'm just alternating these little basket holes and pulling it through. You see how I'm pulling this, the first one? Cause it's easier that way you just take it and um, pull the next one if you have to and when it's tight you don't want anything hanging And you want some quality mesh. Don't go and get the little cheap mesh and try to do this. It'll fray really, really bad. And you wouldn't like the results. You got to find some high quality mesh. I get most of my products from a craft outlet, majority of them. I shop all around the board, but the majority of my products come from a craft outlet. I get most of my flowers from Hobby Lobby. They have quality flora. And every other week they have the flora for 50% off. Look how this, that is coming out. That is pretty. And you just keep weaving through. 
Now this is this mesh here is a ten by ten. 20 inches, I mean 10 inches wide and 10 yards. And that should be sufficient enough for me because I'm gonna alternate my mesh with burgundy and turquoise. I'm trying to turn it around where you can see. You see how I'm stretching it out. I don't want that leaning part there. It'd be okay if it leaned just a little bit, but see, these are long. The reason it's leaning because these blocks are longer than some of them. So they're not even. That's why your mesh going to lean a little bit because some areas are larger. Or should I say longer? And just keep weaving through. And I'm starting here to make it longer. I'm not gonna pull it because that is just not gonna happen. So you got to give some slack from where you started and just keep going around so you can get your, your length. And maybe the only thing, but it's not that tough when you start from the front. Now see how much a length it gave me, gave me a little bit to work with. So I'm just gonna go keep going round and round. Keeping your sides down, okay. It's just like making a basket. Just like, cause all I'm doing is weaving my mesh through these uh, squares. And if it's a little too wide, you just bend it so it can be a little smaller. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this out again to give it more length. Bring it out a little ways this time. Even though you, if you have quality mesh, you still wanna be gentle with it. Cause anything can, can break or put a hole in it. So even though it's, if it's quality, you still want to be gentle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like how that is lifting right there. That's the only challenge you may have when you start from the beginning pulling. You may have bubbles. You don't want to have those bubbles in there. Pull it as tight as you can. Just keep pulling through as tight as you can. I am going to put my mesh on the floor. The further you get, you may have to adjust your mesh, your roll of mesh. So I'm gonna just keep weaving. So I'm just going all the way around and um, on the side, you got to have the tie somewhere. 
So what I might do, I may have to cut it because I want it towards the back because this is going to lean towards the door. So I will be back. So now that I made it all the way around, I decided to connect it on the side. And eventually I will put a big bow on this side and a big bow on this side. Instead of having to have the back, you know, against the wall and connect it that way. And that way I can connect it on the side and have a big, nice, pretty bow on each side. So let's go ahead and zip tie this. I'm gonna zip tie this uh, as close as you can. I have my little six inch zip tie, which should be sufficient enough. And it's black. So let's get this in the right position. I may have to hold it away from the camera to get it like I want to, but you get the picture. Go ahead and zip tie that. I cannot work in long nails. I'm gonna have to have them cut them down when I go back. I cannot work in long nails. So I am just pushing my zip tie towards the, the end of my, the end of my mesh. And just pull it as tight as you can. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna cut our zip tie. Now we gotta cut that extra mesh. close as you can to the, and this is how it's gonna look on the inside, if you can see it. Barely can see it. So now we're gonna go on with the burgundy red. We're gonna go to the next section with the burgundy red, and I will come back in between that to show you that piece. So I've finished my second row of weaving through the basket. But what the tip that I wanna give you, I had just unrolled the whole bunch so I would have enough to go all around. That was a no-no. So it was, it was folding on me, it was tucking, it just wasn't going right because I had let out too much mesh. Well, what you do is just let out a little mesh at a time and do about, I would say about three, four loops inside and then just start it from the beginning where you started from and loose that so you can let out a little deco mesh at a time. So I am ending my mesh in the same area. I left out a little bit there, so I would cut that later. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put bows on, or either ribbon strings on each side, instead of ending my stuff in the back. I think it looked better like that to end it on the inside, on the sides, and put little streamers or a bow I think streamers or ribbon streamers will look good too on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'm gonna come back and show you the finished product. All right, see you later.